Welcome back everybody, Sci Fighters here, and we are uh, getting ready to embark on our next leg of the journey in our course for the core of the X-Wing Vassal League. It's been a while, it's been a while since we've streamed, been working a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, here we are. I know I got a stream, my course for the course, so here we are. Um, running a bit of a new list. Uh, this one I was thinking of, there was a uh, condition set, kind of like an achievement style thing for the uh, Vassal League, to use Wampa in the list. Somebody already beat me to the prize, which is a very nice Paula Rue alternate art card. I'm just going to have to get it off eBay or something sometime, because it's cool. Um, but... Uh, Either way, I like the build, so I wanted to try it out. So that's what we're running right now. It's Wampinator. We do have the choice for initiatives. Let me get this going here. I don't have anything going. That's our new puppy. I might have to let her out of the kennel while we're going. Hopefully she doesn't pee all over. Because that's not going to last all game long. Um, we will, we will give initiative, and we'll let him set the last first rock while I go and let her out. I'll be right back. What side do we want? That's, that's a great question. Really doesn't matter. We will take right. Uh, it's just the side I usually end up with, because everybody likes to choose left for some reason. So, I gotten used to it. That's our new addition. He's cute. But she pees over everything. So, we're gonna be good, right? Just for like an hour or hour and a half, hopefully. Alright. Have your pig here. Some big trust here. We've had her about a week, so not quite potty trained yet. Alright. He brought some big old rocks. Let's see. I kind of want to make a little bit of a wall here, but I don't want to cut it so close that I can't get waking through it if we need to. Actually, show this way up here. Do uh, another on his side. That gives me more room with my wall if I do that. Probably should have grabbed a larger piece. Just put it where I want it, but it's fine. Set. All right, so go through some of the builds real quick. Um, my stuff, I got Captain Oiken. Love him. Love him to death. Um, we've got a lot of games with our Dauntlessness kind of builds. Um, Trickshot, Emperor, Palpatine, Vader, and Ion Projector. So I'm trying to, if I can ram him, hopefully he'll hit me. Ion, ram him again. Um, I got Palpatine. I could even make him get Ion if I wanted. Because I roll the die, so I can call a palp on it. A Rose Squadron Veteran. Um, he's got Deadeye, Harpoon, Proton, Guidance Ships, and the Arsenal Loadout. Um, this lets me shoot a missile at any range, even if I need to slam or reload. 
Um, as long as I can get a focus, which I don't really have a way to do a second action. So the slamming or reloading probably won't come into effect. I haven't fine-tuned this. I haven't played at all. <laughs> and then Wampa. If I can Wampa Poe down, I'll be a happy guy. Alright, let's take this big guy. Get a nice big gap in here. If I put it range 2 of the other obstacles, he can't squeeze it anywhere. And here's the hope. But we're going to go just inside range 2 to help kind of guarantee. Because he could probably squeeze it. Maybe right there. Might even rotate. Let's do that. Set. Breaks up the big pieces. Um, our opponent, Darth Pew Pew. First match of our new season. He's running Poe Dameron. Intensity, BB-8, Prime Thrusters, Auto Thrusters, and Black 1. So he's going to be moving all around the map if we can't lock him down. Ezra Bridger, with all the stress-inducing stuff that he can do. Snapshot, Harris, and Dula, and R3-A2. So he's going to be hyper-defensive and stress-inducing. Luckily, we're not so action-dependent. The row wants to focus, but other than that, should be alright. And then Lorik, the expertise tactician, and C-3PO. So a lot of defense, not a lot of offense. Hopefully that'll help Oiken stay alive a little bit longer. Got a bit of a cluster going on. I'm going to put this right in the middle. So he can't just shoot up this hole. Sets. Alright, I've got four, so it's all me. Hmm. I've got plenty of room on my side of the board, so if I can get him to come and engage me. I don't have my Super Oiken shenanigans to pull. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. To split these guys up. I don't have the engine upgrade and the uh, daredevil. It's really fun to do that. All right, we'll put uh, the gunboat on the outside because he can actually slam around. So they can come meet him down here if they need to. He can cut up here. Wouldn't mind keeping the fighting on this side. Um, Oiken will take a little bit to turn around. That'll take some getting used to. I think I'm set here, though. Luckily, if he wants to stay in formation, he can't go too terribly fast. He could go fours, but I think even that's red for Lorik. I don't know, no. Does Lorik have any reds? Let me look. He could go five. But his other guy's locked down to four, I believe. Poke can go four, and Ezra can go four. So Lorik's five, probably not gonna happen. Probably stick to fours. Pretty quick, but not super. So as long as I can keep the row squadron from getting too bogged down in the stress be alright. If I can flank with him, that would be perfect. The hard part is uh, getting Ezra, because he can flip around while stressed anytime he wants. Do that K turn. One stress is alright. Once you start getting double stress, it gets a little scary. We're going to try to Palpatine Wampa for the crit. Try to take Poe off the board. If I can get Poe off the board, his other stuff not super scary. Not a lot of ways for him to do crits. Pretty much natural rolls. Or Poe if he target locks. Chances are 
doesn't have optics so if he can't get the intensity going he's gonna have to spend it on focusing my other uh, Oiken probably be alright for this too got the Boshek going on I believe Boshek triggers before BB-8 so as long as it's not a one straight I could force him into a different uh, color maneuver and now BB-8 doesn't work it's worth looking into alright so it looks like he's gonna try to joust those guys so they're gonna they're gonna cut down towards Oiken And likewise, we can all shoot up towards them. Once I can get him involved, maybe even get some iron projector going. Really, that could be all she wrote for somebody. Vader, I don't plan on using much maybe on a critical attack definitely not until shields are out not worth it at all oh yeah let's go ahead and start a log file as well just in case anything happens what's going on girly you're all right let's see get to dials, let's get going. Hmm. What's wrong? You're fine. I know, you've been out. You've been out. You want to sit with me? You can sit with me. Mm-hmm. Oh, zip it. Alright. We're going to cut Oiken up with a hard two. We're going to cut... Wampa and the row down the map. With his fours, he can get to them pretty quick before we can get to get there. I don't have the boosting like I normally do. You wanna go out? You wanna walk around the house? That's fine. No, no, no. Oh, don't think you're gonna get it. Older dog trying to come and get her pig here. Not gonna happen. Alright. We are set, I believe. Alright. Really, if I can get any piece of his puzzle quickly, I think it swings our way fast. They all kind of complement each other pretty well. Alright, he's set, we're set, let's do it. Round one, fight. Hard two. I'll go ahead and focus just because Wampa One will evade. Never know some of the tricks that this game has up its sleeve sometimes. Hard left. Alright. Starting the game with a bump, that's great. Set. Getting stressed early with Ezra. Makes sense. 
just in case I came at him with some missiles. Rule of 11, we couldn't have engaged anyway. The stress count begins. I think I've gotten up to... Have I gotten double digits? I'm trying to remember. There's some people that have gotten like 30 stress somehow. Some way they do it. I think that was back with the um, Y-Wing though. kind of what I figured. Come in hard, try to engage before we can get involved. Round dose. Alright. Awakens going fast. If I turn in at him, chances are we'll engage a bit. Do I want that? Not so much. Let's see. If we can slams up four. Go nice and fast. I'm um, just trying to get involved. Wampa could turn around. Be safe. RSV. I don't want him to hard turn. I want him to get some distance, but we need to start turning. If we go maybe a three bank and slam another three bank, I think that kind of takes us towards that debris. That's probably not good. Let's see, we could. Wump is going to go four, so the RSV could go three. Then a three hard turn, that gets us distance and turns. Gets us ready to engage the next round. It's not bad. And it might get RSV the room to kind of flank around to go through that uh, the debris on the right and that little tiny rock come up through there it's a thing that could happen I think we're set I like our plan three bank yeah I just I think that doing that may bring us into that debris. I don't want that. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, we can with the four. Get there. There's one. Wampa. With stress and the row squadron. Three straight. Let's see, I'm trying to think through. If we if we slam with a bank, that helps us kinda of hook around and then if we K or hard turn the next turn we'll be going up at kind of a forty five towards that corner. Depends on how fast he goes, if that's good or not. I think we're better off with a hard turn right here. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright. Disable. Alright, we are set.
Alright, I think we should be clear of engagements this round. I'm trying to decide if Oiken can make that past Wampa or not. Wampa can go first. They're all fours. Okay, he's hooking in. Let's find next turn RSV can one bank. Clear the path for Awaken next turn. We'll, uh, be rolling in the right bank. Is that what it was? Yeah. Once Awaken gets involved, his, uh, his formation will get a little screwy too. <coughs> Hello, Poe. That may have been a mistake, coming into Wampus territory. Alright, we can palp this. Here we go. First shot of the game. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna palp and evade. Because we can't shoot or do anything else anyway. And Zippo. Great. One shield. <coughs> we got. I'll allow you to shoot yourself if you want to measure range. Why are you trying to get up there? Makes no sense. You can sit with me if you don't try to eat my microphone. I have a feeling she would. She likes to nipple. Alright, Poe's gonna have a heck of a time trying to get away from Oiken. Which is good. Um, even Wampa dials, yeah? Alrighty. So we need to clear the path. I move first, so the snapshot thing shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, clear these tokens. So really, we only get into a lot of trouble if either we misjudge Wiccan's bump and get snapshot. Uh, Round three. Or we get shot by Ezra and Lorik range two specifically. Flipping intensity. Alright. So let's see. I don't quite expect him to be banking in. I think Wampa can still clear his stress and get a shot. Potentially. Either way, I'd like to have the evade on my side. So I think he's got to. Okay, 
awaken, I'm thinking of three bank. Alright, so we clear the path. The row squadron kind of goes up towards that debris. The bank should be nice, ready to clear it the next turn. Wampa clears that, probably ends up just above the planet. I don't know, maybe where that the white starts getting pretty dim. Probably won't be pointing in a great direction unless he goes pretty quick, banks slow rick in like three bank or something, trying to go fast, catch people range two. Good. Hard turn Wampa. That way he's way back. Don't worry about his stress next turn. He's probably getting a little greedy though. Probably getting a bit greedy. But it does seem good. Like if it worked out. I think we're, I think we're good with what we talked through. What are you doing? You can't make it up there. He's twice as tall as you. Silly poochie. All right. Look through it again. I'd rather have Wampa live than get hosed. That evade's gonna come in nice and handy. I think we're set there. What's your deal? Hmm? No problem all of a sudden? You should be tired. You haven't really slept a whole lot today. Usually she's passed out half the day at least. Like enough to concern my wife. All right, let's see how we do this. We want to go row first, get him out of the way. There's a one. We're going to focus. Okay, what we can next. Barely nicked him. Well, no focus for Awaken, but I'm used to him having no actions, so not the end of the world. Take off that stress, grab an evade, be set. And I think I think Poe will be alright unless he does something. What? What's the deal? What's the problem? Ah! Oh. Hang on. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Because I'm not trying to shoot with the disabled weapons token. I was thinking I had to have the um, target lock. Not the case. This is interesting. I'm trying to double stress the row. It's not going to work for this shot. Interesting tactic, though. What are you doing? Alright, you can... 
Yeah, you can chew it. I'm not too terribly worried about it. Alright, Poe, looks like he's gonna hit that debris. Maybe. He might cut slightly short. But on the next round. Oh no, he won't. He's got BB. He can barrel roll. Nice move. Ooh, nah, he hit it. Hit it. He has prime thrusters. Th th blah, 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 blah. He has prime thrusters. So he can still get away from the next turn. Okay. I thought it might have fit. Not so bad. I don't think he's actually overlapping that much. It's just a little bit of a little bit underneath. All right, here comes the pain. Let's see what we want to do here. Shoot in the row. Does not like this missile boat, which makes sense. Ah! Oh. Uh. What a shot. One for the debris. All right. I wasn't even thinking about it. Alright, well, got a palpin' evade. Gotta try to keep it alive. So, two hits. Hopefully I can get both of these. Just do shield damage. I gotta try to get out of this. Roll in two. You jerk. All right. What do we want to do here? Add one more. Oh. Let's reroll this. Of course. Why would it help me? Okay, we'll set that to an evade. It's going to be a crit. Gotta spend that focus, don't I? No good, man. Let's see. Should have an unobstructed shot at Ezra, Proton Rockets, or I could go for Lorik, the Harpoon, but I might be dead. Shoot. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I guess I gotta spend it. If he can live, I can try to swing around. If he dies, there's no point in keeping it. Gotta live, gotta live. Mm. Bummer. Okay. Next. Be double stressed the next turn. Not the end of the world, but. 
Um, my plan is to hit low Rick, I think. He's kind of staggered his guys in such a way that I cannot hit Poe. I wouldn't mind the debris stress. Okay. Only two. And I cannot roll a natural evade to save his life, can I? Draw a card. Oh. Yep. Comes the second stress. And expertise. Wow. Shoot. It's gonna spell disaster. Anyway. <laughs> Stinking greens. Alright, well, that's a one. And a two. And a three. So it doesn't matter when we spent the focus, it would have only blocked one every shot anyway. Um got them in Got a damaged engine out of there, that's good. Alright, well. Our hard hitting guy is gone. That's not great. Not great at all. What are you doing? Oh, don't bite his ear. He will get you. Don't bother the old man. Don't bother the old man. And come sit with me. Leave him alone, because he'll probably get you. Nope. Alright. So. Wampa. On Lorik. Rolling two. Great. Awesome. Can't evade anything, can't hit anything. Let's see what we got here. Ezra. Um, good trick shot on Poe. Took an evade. That'll be a four dice attack. Um, auto thrusters? No auto thrusters. We'll have four dice, he'll have three dice. No Palpatine. We got Vader on our side, but it's not like we're gonna chew through all that shieldage anyway. Our other... The other thing we can do is Lorik. He's got C-3PO and Reinforce, so the max we can do is one. And Ezra, 3v2, with odds in his favor on evading two. Let's, uh, let's go for Ez. the best shot we have, and we can ram him the next turn. Uh, I think we gotta get rid of that stress. Um, yeah, we got no mods. Let's do it. Room three. Oh, <laughs> yes! Alright, I guess I'm set. It's a fun round. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna do here? 
What do we do? Hmm. I've done some magic with my Super Awaken, but I don't have him right now. Okay. I think we need to hit Ezra to take off the shield. Which should, hopefully, make Lorik hit us. Unless he turns in at a Wampa, which is a possibility. We can try to block that. Flipping? With what? It's a focus to flip. I've never used it. I don't know. You spend one focus or Oh, okay. I guess I'm just used to Poe always having focus. We're doing all the music. It's got 15 minutes left. We're just going to back it up. Alright. How do we block this off here? So, Oiken coming forward to Ram Ezra should stay clear of the debris. Won't be able to snapshot. Um, lower it could try to like three. Could try to turn in at Wampa, but I think if Wampa does like a two hard turn. I think we'll be alright. Um, hopefully we'll have a bead on Poe as well, if we do that. just don't want Wampa to hit. If we do a one hard turn, where's that put us? Gets iffy. Wampa can make a two turn. I think he can pull it off. Uh, shouldn't engage the snapshot or anything like that. Alright. I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. So one bank. Hit Ezra. Two turn. Hopefully that'll block Lorik from coming around on Wampa. If we can hit Oiken, that would be great. Alright. Wampa's just got to survive long enough to take out Poe. By then, Oiken can hopefully take out Ezra. Mm. If it comes down to Lorik Lo Oiken, I feel confident on that one. Alright, either way. Boom, ba da 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 I think, I think that's probably our best move. Um, Poe is probably probably gonna barrel roll and then hard turn around there. Wonder if I should two bank to hit Ezra. 
just to make sure I don't hit that uh, debris cloud. That's the best we're going to be able to come up with. Got nothing. Alright. Go for the ram. Did hit the debris. That's a bummer. Bump the Ezra. Take that shield off. Door, gotta jump on it. 